Yo, 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 my Star Citizens and Noob Gamers. Welcome back to another episode of Star Citizen with me, Menix. And in today's episode, I'm going to be doing my take on a beginner's guide. Now, I'm not saying other beginner's guides are wrong, because they're not. They've helped me out a lot. But I just think a lot of the stuff in some of the beginner guides are not needed when you first start. It becomes... It become, become a little bit complicated for, for what you want to start off with. Um, it should maybe be broken down into a few beginner guides. A beginner guide on when you first start, a beginner guide for fighting, a beginner guide for for um, ace combat sort of thing in, in, the, in the ships, shit combat. Uh, so this is my beginner's guide for just starting. When you first start, what you want to do. Uh, so once you've created your character, you've got to pick a place to go. Uh, to be uh, in Stanton. I picked Lawville. When I first originally did it before the wipe of 17.2, uh, I originally went to Microtech, but I found Microtech would crash out a lot. So I ended up spending a lot of time over around in the Hurston section um, doing um, like missions and earning money, uh, 150,000 credits a, an hour as you see in one of my other videos um, and so I was doing a lot more around the Hurston area so this time when we had the wipe I decided to choose uh, Hurston Lawville as my main base so it's up to you what you want to do where you want to where, where you want to go the only place I wouldn't say is Crusader because it it's a bit of a a bit of a hard one to get in and out of keep going up and down it takes so long to get in and out of that system whereas all the other ones are quite simple uh, the biggest thing you find when coming into any of the planets is finding the spaceport. Um, I'll probably do a guide on finding all the different spaceports. Um, uh, if you keep posting on the videos, hit the subscribe and like, uh, uh, the subscribe and bell notification for videos as they drop, and then I'll do a guide on where the stations are and what to look for in the day and in the night, because it can be quite um, hard when you first start. So I'm starting off here in um, Lawville. Um, so I'm just gonna get up out of my bed. When you start, you're gonna start in like a habitation like this. There's not really a lot in here. There's you, the, you know the going out, and then you've got like a, just a little toilet area and stuff like that. Nothing really um, great in this section at the moment. And I presume they're gonna fill it up with stuff when they bring in hygiene and stuff like that. But just take some time to familiarise yourself, moving around and that. Um, I'm using a gamepad because I've come from PlayStation and Xbox, so I bought myself a Xbox Elite controller and I've set up my buttons for that. But when you first start with, with it, you've got your, your WASD uh, for forward and backwards and sides and stuff like that, and then your mouse look. When you're using the keyboard, you'll, you'll walk slowly like this. So I'm you know pressing W and I'm walking slowly. So what you want to do is, if you're using a mouse and keyboard, is you want to scroll up on your mouse wheel, and as you scroll up on your mouse wheel, you'll go faster. Um, so there you go. I would then familiarise yourself with looking at the um, the key bindings on on your game. So if you go over to key bindings, this is mouse and keyboard. As you hover over. It'll show you different things for in flight and then for on foot. So have a look on foot. So um, you've got your sprint here, which is holding shift. So if we come back out and you will shift your sprint as you go forward. Now with the, um, the with the pad, it's so much easier because I've, the way I've set, like you just push forward and you you go full full speed, and then I've got another button that I hold for sprint. So that's. I would familiarise myself with some of the key bindings. Don't be um, too worried about it at the moment. You can always go back and look. Um, the things to look at is is mainly this, the modifier, so the M1 and the M2, and just these um, keys here, basically. So like you see here, you um, sprint, uh, you hold it. That's what that star means. Oh, you've got the, the two stars, which is a double tap it. Um, and then you've got a modifier key, which is your M1, your alt here on the space bar, as you see next to your space bar. So anywhere you've got to hold the modifier key, um, generally in, in flight, you'll see them um, 
then um, th you'll see the, the modifier key. Let's go to the flight, and you'll see some of them. The M1 there. By pressing the M1 and 8, you'll get that reset sub-target there. Um, so that's what they, these mean here, these modifiers. So take yourself to familiarize yourself with some of these. But don't worry too much about it. If you want to do something, um, just just hit the um, escape and then go and have a look in here. And you'll see, like, find what you wanted to, to, to do and then and then you'll know the key. And over time, you'll it'll become second nature to you. Um, the other thing to look at here is custom advice customization. So um, if I go back, uh, back into my options, if I go up to key bindings, you've got your keyboard and your mouse here, and then you've got your different things like your gamepad and your joystick. So on my gamepad, this is again, just if you've got a gamepad looking at the, the key down here and then looking at what the different buttons do, um, just familiarizing yourself with it, this being the, the modifier key and then you um, press in the modifier and this will bring up your Moby glass. If you keep hold of it, it'll bring up your star map. So just familiarize yourself with some of these things. And then you've got, like I say, you've got your advanced controls here. Um, again, you can do it on keyboard and mouse or you can do it on gamepad. Um, and then you can save these and just familiarize yourself. Like say, if you want to um, learn something, this is the best place to do it. Or if you want to reset something, this is the best place to do it. Um, sometimes things won't be set on here. Um, so you have to go in there and set them yourself. Um, I can hear the cockpit. So there might be things you want um, and you have to go and set them. One thing I would suggest is either on pad or whatever, if, especially if you're using pad, two things I would suggest is, um, is to turn off your self-destruct because that sometimes can be a problem especially if you don't you know if you if you hit it by accident so it will be set so just click it and then right click it and, and that will um unbind it basically so that'll be the first thing i do because that can be um a problem the second thing i would do is i would turn off um in here you have one that's called if i can find it what i'm looking for um, I find it coupled mode flight to uh, couple toggle now I've turned it off so basically I don't if I press it accidentally as soon as I come off it will turn itself back on so what coupled mode does is it takes um, you have little boosters on your ship and if you're in coupled if you're in, not in coupled mode um, your ship will just drop to the floor it, it, it won't stabilize, stabilize itself, it'll just drop. If you're in atmosphere, it'll just, a couple of times I've died where I've accidentally hit coupled mode and um, the ship's just dropped and I didn't know why it was dropping. Um, so I've turned off this here, this uh, couple more toggle, and then in the actual key bindings itself, um, just fi finding uh, the couple mode in here, um, the, and then just turn that off. Obviously I don't use a keyboard and mouse um, so you'll see it's probably turned off for my, um, if we go back to flight movement, it's probably turned off for my um, pad because I was pressing it by accident. Um, you can find it. There, decouple mode there. So I've turned it, I've basically right clicked it and got rid of it so I don't accidentally press it because a couple of times I pressed it by accident and I've just fallen to the ground and didn't know what was going on. So that's a, a couple of tips there. But just take some time to familiarize yourself. Don't try and get it all in one go. It's not going to happen in one go. Um, it's going to take some time. You're going to die a couple of times. Um, things I would do as well is I would bind. Um, um, a couple of bindings I would look at is I've got it on my pad here so you can do it on the keyboard itself but in the advanced here on foot if you look on foot on light at uh, all and down here I have uh, one that says um, helmet visor so toggle equip helmet here so I've set this to this my left shoulder button which is my modifier button and the down on the d-pad um which is the same as my flashlight but and what that does is it turn, takes my helmet on and off 
so like there'll be times where you're on a space station and you need to quickly put it on so if you're on um, keyboard um, I think I've set mine on the keyboard to be just the down the down key the down arrow um, and so I would do the set you know I would suggest for, for me see for you just to so I've set mine to the down arrow just to have a toggle that toggle on the helmet because it's just so much quicker than if you need it so that's that on that time take some time to, to learn that uh, as you go around another thing you've got here is you see on the, le the left hand side there we've got the chat the global chat now you can turn that on and off with f12 but it is worth keeping it on sometimes or just checking it because people will um, be talking to you when you're on a planet or whatever um, I got caught out once where I was selling some stuff on a planet and someone was doing some illegal stuff nearby and they wanted to land and they thought I was trying to kill them because they was doing some illegal stuff. So he ended up shooting me and killing me because I didn't answer him in the chat. So I'll just keep an eye on that. And if you do want to answer somebody, just press F11 and that'll bring up the chat here. And you've got your global one and then you've got like um, your global chat here and any parties you have and then your friends stuff here and we'll talk more about... Uh, so just keep an eye on that and if you do want to chat to them this is where you'll do it here this chat is a really good place as well to ask people things uh, the community is really good and they do talk to you when you need to ask something and and they will try and uh, help you out and maybe even team up with you and do stuff with you so yeah and you can change colors of your stuff here um so that's that another thing to look at as well is if I come off that, so press F11 again to come off that. That's so that was your Morbi glass there that I'll show you more about in a second. And um, I'll get rid of that chat there. Another thing is this here. I bring up this to have a look at this stuff here. Your vitals. I've got it set on my uh, pad. Um, one of my buttons on my pad to bring that up. Uh, I'm not too sure what it is on your thing. I think it's left alt and um, I can't remember what it is uh, you'd have to have a look on here so we go to here so again I don't know the key bindings for the keyboard so on foot on keyboard and mouse I would have a look and say right I'm looking for my um, if I show you here my pit, my pit wheel here that's what I'm looking for so on keyboard I would look where's the pit wheel on the keyboard and I believe it is here. So you see here it's right mouse button in interaction mode. So I am. So I am is here, which is F. So F is your quick is looking at stuff and interacting with stuff. So what we'll do is we'll press F and we'll press the right mouse button. And that brings up this this wheel. You can these will be empty, your little favorite thing, and you can add stuff here if you want, but it's just mainly this I'm looking at. So let's go through this. This is Whenever you've been injured in that and you get medical, this will help you here. This will show you what drugs you've got in your system. This is your hydration, which you need to keep an eye on. This is your food, which you need to keep an eye on. This will be uh, any injuries you've got and what level, so one to three. So like if you break your leg, it could be a level three, like some uh, med pens and stuff will fix you. But if you've got a level three, you have to go and see a uh, hospital bed. Uh, then you've got the temperature. Um, around you and then you've got your oxygen and then you've got your health so that's that so interaction mode if, when you press F you've got this little thing comes up so you can move your mouse around and you can you know see if we go to this seat you can go to it and interact with it so you can sit down you, you can actually you know interact with stuff and, and open stuff and that I like going to your bed and lie down and log out um, so another thing with the interaction mode is double tapping F. Um, so if you go to something like the door here, you can just double tap F and it will open. So let's leave our habitation and let's be polite and turn out the lights maybe while we're here. Yeah, there we go. And then double tap F and let's get out of here. So there we are. So this is where you'll end up in um, Lawville. Just have a look around if you want. Um, just looking out the window, enjoying the views. Now you see those floating um, um, Tessa uh, spaceport. 
they are, they come in handy when you're coming into the planet. Those are the things you got to look for when you're looking for the spaceport. Right, so next thing to look at is pressing I, your inventory. Now, on your inventory, you this lot will be empty. You won't have anything here. Unless you've got like a subscriber pack, like I've got this this flagpole thing from a subscriber pack that I've got, uh, and these I've got from um, having people join using my affiliate code. But you won't have any any, any of this stuff. Um, don't worry about that though at the moment, because you're going to get some of this stuff. Now some of the guides will tell you, oh, you've got to go and buy some suit, and some legs, and some arms, and you know backpack and tractor beam and and you know med pen, but in this um, in this guide you, I'm saying don't do that don't go and buy all this stuff because you don't need it at the moment not for what for what we're going to look at now other things to look at here is your capacity so this is your local so every area except for bunkers and, uh, and, and I don't know of any others maybe there is others but you'll have a local and what that is is, is a place to store all your stuff that you pick up um, it's got this capacity here, and you see here, I'm only one percent. It doesn't take, you know, there's, it just, I've never ever been able to. Fit. I think I've, the most I've got is like three percent. Um, so this is very handy. This for when you want to store stuff, and to put stuff on, um, you just either double, you can right click it and equip it, or you can double tap it uh, and equip it, or you can drag it and put it over the circle and equip it. You have to have body armor on to be able to put a backpack on and if the backpack is a medium so i'm pressing right mouse button here and, and looking around so if the backpack is a medium backpack um see if you see where uh, item type here um you have to have medium armor for that if it's a large backpack you need large armor and stuff like that another tip will be if you grab your body armor anything that's on that body armor will will go with it and be dropped back in there but you don't need to worry about this stuff at the moment. Once you've got a body armor on and a backpack on and legs on and arms on, um, what you can then do is, as you see here on this side, they've got their own storage and these fill up really, really quick. So, you know, you, you can't really put a lot on. But once you've got legs on, then you can have two things on the side. So you can have that one, that side. You could have maybe um, a med pen on the other side that side so you've got one on each side but you need legs to you need leg armor to do that um, you can put on armor uh, um, guns on each side sorry so you got like so you could have a gun that side and a gun the other side um, so you've got the two uh, then when you want to add stuff to the guns you can grab it here and you can just drop it on like that so if you, like, if you want to add a site, you'll do the same and drop it on the site section. So that's how that lot works. So if I show you the site there, you just grab that and drop it on there. And then you've got the site on there then. And you can even grab them and drag them and drag them off if you don't want them on there. Um, so that's that. If I take all this stuff off, you'll see then that so that that's uh, armor, ammo I think, or silencer or whatever. So let's take all this stuff off. Drop it all in there. Now if I try putting a gun on now, I've only got, I can only, if I haven't got a backpack on, I can only put one on. I can only put one on gun on. If you've got armor on, I think you can put two on and carry one. Um, this, these things will go into the multi-tool. We'll show you that in another guide, but basically your multi-tool has different slots for traction B, mining and stuff like that so it's a really good tool to get but I wouldn't really worry about that now and you don't need to buy one because uh, because you'll pick one up and you'll pick one of these up so don't worry too much about that stuff now but what we're talking about here is the local and every place you visit will have a local so that's why you don't need a backpack because we'll drop stuff into the local and then we'll drop it onto your ship and then we'll come back to you your, where you go uh, where you live in you drop it again back into your local to keep it Right, so that's that. There is different types of armor for different scenarios, like for cold and for heat and stuff like that, but you don't really need to worry about that now. What I've got here will do, you know, what you basically start off with, that will do. So 
that's pressing R, your inventory. If you, if I drop something on the floor, so say if I drop, um, say my legs on the floor here, and it'll drop a box. Now, if you press F, you'll get this, and you can try different things. You can equip it, open it, grab it. If you grab it, and you're in a local area or, or whatever, you can then press I, and you can grab the box out of your own hands and drop it into your local as well. So that's another thing to look out for. Now, food and drink. Have I got any food and drink in here? I'm not too sure. No, so I'll have to show you that in a second. Um, ammo. So this ammo here, if I grab this, you get slots on your belt where you can put this ammo and you can do the same with any med pens and stuff like that. So um, when you've got more armor on and more, more, what's it called? Say if I put one of these on, you'll have more slots that you can put them in so that's what your armor is good for so if you're going to go out and do some bunker missions and battling and stuff like that then then that's what's to watch out for stuff like that making sure you've got that stuff but if you die you lose it all uh, you can go back to your body and pick it all up but then you're going to end up spending you know half an hour to an hour going doing that so i'm going to take over back on my pad now say hello to this guy yo bro And you're going to meet other people in the verse. So, uh, another thing to look out for is if you press your Moby Glass and you uh, press F1, you get your Moby Glass here with all your stuff, your money, your current money, your crime stats here. Um, we'll go through this stuff now. But another thing is here, if you go to your global chat, you can turn off your mic so people can't hear you. Uh, and then you can right click people and mute them and stuff like that here as well. So my food is getting low, so I'm going to have to get some food in a minute. Um, so let's go through the Moby Glass before we do that. So pressing F1 gets you your Moby Glass up. And you've got your name, your current uh, money, the crime stats, one to three. Probably more, I don't know. I've only ever had three. Um, and then your stuff for your suit and your health and stuff like that here. The first tab is your communications tab. The second tab is when you uh, have ships here. This is where they'll go. And you can look at your ship and then you'll get some stuff here um, so I can put like that flag on my ship as like a, just a, a thing that I can put on there and then you've got your coolers that you can change buy different coolers different power plants different quantum drives to get places faster and shield generators then you can buy different paints when you buy your actual ships uh, in, in a pledge store and then you've got your weapons that you can change um, we're not going to go over them too much, but you have different sizes and different missiles. So this has got a couple of missiles, and then you've got like we've got gimbal pucks here. Once you have a gimbal puck on, you can then put in like this one. I could put a bulldog repeater on, but I do have this other cannon here that I could change it for if I wanted to. A gimbal will take one off your size. So if you've got a gimbal and a size two you're only going to be able to put a, uh, in a size two, you're only going to be able to put a size one weapon on that gimbal. So, or you could have a fixed size two gun, but then you, it's harder to fight when you actually fighting in a ship. So it, um, you have to keep up moving your ship more. Whereas with a gimbaled one, it sort of gives you a greater area where the weapon itself will keep tracking the enemy so always easier to have a gimbal and a smaller one because you're getting more shots on target um rather than you know a more powerful weapon with less shots on target so that's this part of it i'm just gonna mute this guy okay uh then we've got uh your knickknacks so all around the areas you'll you'll find like places where you've been and it's got stuff stored and you can go and look at all your stuff that you've got stored uh, this will probably be empty for you. Then you've got your star map, which we'll look at, and you can move around, looking at your star map, different places you can go. Then you've got your more trader app. Now, unless you've got some money, this is where we'll begin, and we can send money to people we know. Um, and then we've got um, the maintenance. So when you sat in your ship, this is where you'll refuel, restock, and repair. But you have to be sat in your ship to do it. And I'll show you that once I get in the ship. 
Then you've got your journal, which will come up with things that you've done in the system. Uh, one thing to keep an eye on is your criminal record stuff and uh, where they go, com commodity prices here. So you'll get alerts for prices coming up. And basically what it is, you can buy stuff cheaper and sell it for, for dearer where there's more demand. So it gives you an eye on demand when you're doing trading. Uh, but that's just a little bit too more advanced at the moment for, for a beginner. But as you go further in, you know, keep an eye on these, these prices, commodity prices. And then you've got your um, Delph. This here is sort of your rankings. So different companies that you do work for will give you rankings and, and you'll get better jobs from it. So that's what that is. Right, so let me go and get some food. So we go to the lift, I'm gonna call the elevator. One thing I do is I always move back away from elevators because there's a bug that when an elevator arrives, sometimes it kill you or drag you out into space. So I always step back and wait for the elevator to come. And we go inside and then we're gonna to go to the ground floor. Now, if you see in the top right corner, you've got your um, satellite and your no, um, shooting zone, your armistice zone. Your armistice zone means you can't fire in that area. You can fire, but you'll um, more than likely get a crime stat for that. And then you've got the communications you're in on the other one, basically. Um, so you'll see kiosks like this, where you can press F and you can log in and if you've got any crime, low crime stats or whatever and you haven't been sent to jail, you can pay them fines here. So that's things to look out for. Keep an eye on these machines. If you do get any crime stats and you've got to pay any fines, that's where you'll pay them. This machine here is um, where you will drop off things. Um, you'll drop off um, boxes and stuff like that when you do... Um, when you do missions, like the mission we're going to do in a minute. So this dude is um, doing his own thing. So taking the views, guys. This is the spaceport. A lot of junk being thrown on everyone down there. So another big thing in this game is signs. You don't get markers for stuff unless you're out in space. Uh, so you have to follow signs for everything that you want to do. So if you want to go somewhere, you're going to have to go and find signs, just like in the real world. Um, so that's the, the, what you've got to keep an eye out. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go and look for a sign now because we're in the habitation area. We want to get to the spaceport. That's where we want to go to the spaceport. So you've got the metro centre there and then you've got like... Um, so generally where your habitation is, you're going to have an hospital. As you see there, you've got hospital bars and stuff like that. So, whenever you die, you will always go to the hospital. So let's go and show you the hospital. So here you've got some shops, like over there, you've got a bar and a gun shop and stuff like that. And then over here you've got the, um, the hospital here. Now in the hospital, you will have um, a couple of different places to go. So you can, if you've got a, like a level three injury, um, this is where you'll go and you'll, you'll, you'll check yourself in there and it'll give you a room number to go to and then you go and lie on the bed. Um, let's have a look. So I've got a, nine, an injury there. So what I'll do is I'll log in. I'll come to here. And it'll give me a room number. So we're gonna go to floor one, room seven. That's where we're gonna go on and, and sort ourselves out. These beds you can grab and move around, take them to places if you need to help people that are down. But we're gonna go in here and we're gonna go to room one. Welcome to the Maria Pier of Heart Hospital, a non-profit uh, medical seven, facility dedicated one. to improving the health of all members of the extended Hurston Dynamic family of employees. So again, we're gonna look for signs to do anything. So we're gonna to go to look for room seven. So around here somewhere will be a sign for the rooms. In her book, Dynamics of a Mindful Life, Maria Hurston showed that health so is merely the concern of the individual. Be, it takes everyone working 12, together to I think I'm seven. 14, so we've gotta go the other way. 
As you see there, the elevator is. So proud to carry on her lasting legacy here at Maria Pure of Heart. I think I was seven. Where we all work together for better health. So, let's see, we've got two, four, seven. There you go. And when you come into a room, a restroom or whatever, you've got. So you got your bed here. And what you're going to do is you're just going to lie down in it. And that will fix your health and your... See, my hydration and my food, they will also go up as well. And if you keep all the F and look up, you've got a little screen above you. And you can set your regeneration point here or you can set your medical care. So if you've got broken bones here, you can fix them and set yourself a plan. And then you can go to treatment and you can see what treatment you need and then you can add medication. Right, so if you want to add you know, certain things to it, good medication, you can you know, add some medications to it and for the different things. Uh, I'm not gonna to go too much into what these are, what these different things are, but then you can just administrate that there. So that's that. Uh, I'm not going to do that, but that's that's where you do that. And then you can set your regen point to be here. But wait, what we're going to do is we're going to go to a space station and set it differently. Uh, set it to the space station. Because we don't want to have to be getting trains um, around. Okay. You do find little bugs like this now and then will happen. Um, we don't want to be getting trains everywhere. That's someone's medical gown. That's someone that's died and come back sure. here. They end up with a medical gown, and then when you pick it and drop it off yourself, but overdosing on um, stimulants is not the like answer. I'll show you now. From so they'll have a medical gown on, and what they'll do is they'll grab it like this, and then they'll just drop it on the floor, and then that will, you'll end up making that you go on some suit then. So what we're going to do is we're going to head back out. Uh, I'll show you here as well. I don't think you can go in other people's rooms, so that's why it's you know you have to know which room it was that you was in because you can't go in other people's rooms. If you do go in with a friend, because they've opened the door for you, you can actually set their medical work. treatment for them. Ask your doctor or pharmacist on the, back, how to at the end of the bed. To help you return to the job in record time. So that's hospital. Um, you'll regen back at the so Lawville here. This is if I die and I haven't set another regen point. This is where I'll be. This is where I will always regen until I set another regen point on a, either a ship or a space station. So that's how you book into a room. If you want to, if you want to um, set this as your regen point, you're going to look for an insurance kiosk. Um, so it looks like oh, it's either the insurance. So you're going to look for an insurance kiosk to set your regen points without going to the bed itself to do it. So you can go here and say, this is why I want to set my regen point instead. And then you just click reset your location. And we'll do that up at the um, space station in a minute. I'm sorry if this is long, but I want it to be quite thorough on what, you know, a starting guide and explain a bit of a few more things to you. Um, so yeah, this is your pharmacy where you can go and then you can buy stuff, like you can buy and sell stuff that you've got, set your location and sell the stuff you've got. So if you like out looting, you see hey, this is worth 700 AUEC. Um, this one, I would sell it at a different place because you could get maybe 400 for it. So it depends where you're selling it. But if you're going to buy, you can buy like your med pens and, and your med gun and your med gun refill. But we're not going to do that because we can pick these up uh, in the mission I'm going to do. So that's the hospital, guys. That's, let's leave the hospital and let's head back. Now we're going to go and head to the spaceport. So what we're going to look for is the metro station here. So every time you spawn uh, on a planet, your hospital will be next to the habitation, basically. So let's have a look around. We're going to go to the metro centre. And then have a look at the map. Always look at your maps at where you're going to go. So, you know, it shows you the different shops like Tammy's and Sons and, uh, and you know, the residence and you're here. And it just shows you everything you need to know, basically. Okay, so we're going to go to the spaceport because we want to go to the spaceport. Metro the center, uh, perimeter line will be perimeter, where you go and buy and stuff. Um, like, it's sort of like the main area where you'll go and buy your guns and all that stuff 
so we're going to go to spaceport so we're going to go that way now the train's here but and there'll be a timer there sometimes it won't be here but this, this is here at the moment and then there's a map just there at the far end that you can look at what we're going to do is we're going to go towards the spaceport so we've got to go I think to the business district and then um, oh no I'm just going straight to the spaceport but there's a business district as well so when you uh, land from the spaceport you sometimes you have to go to the business district and then to on to different places from there so well, this is taking us straight to the spaceport, so this is good. In some of the other areas, you can actually sit down on the seats, but you can't here. Just enjoy the views. Keep that in mind, that uh, um, Tisa spaceport there, because they're the things you're going to look for when you're coming into this planet. There you go, and this is that map I was on about. So sometimes you'll go to the business business district central line. So looking at um, maps and stuff like that. Now you can play this in first person. You can um, uh, third person, sorry, uh, by pressing F4, and you press F4 again, it goes out further. This is uh, a good view, like when you land in your ship and stuff like that. So that one's going to go to the um, the other place, and we're going to go through the customs area here. Again, some more of those um, find kiosks. More. And this is the spaceport. So when you get to the spaceport, you um, you got different areas. So again, another one of those machines. So it depends where you you know you're going to have to deliver them. You've always got to keep an eye on where you might have to deliver them now through there in new deal is where you can buy new ships and stuff with the in-game credits um, but what we're going to look at is these kiosks here these yellow and black kiosks and this is where you'll pick up your ship Welcome basically to the ASOP vehicle retrieval so system. what we're going to do is I'm going to pick up my Pisces here this Carrick is a big ship I bought where I had a few million uh, my Nomad here is my uh, pledge ship and the cut of steel is what I've got in the monthly subscription. So I do a monthly subscription. I'll put the video um, pin at the end of the, this video and it explains like the monthly subscription and I pay £10 a month for this subscription and every month it gives me a new ship and like that little flagpole I've got, I've got a little bobbly head from last month. Um, but you get a new ship to try every month and I pay £10 a month for that and there's other things I'll show you in the video if you watch it. But I'm going to take out my anvil. Um, if you're um, watching this and you haven't bought the game yet, the anvil is a brilliant um, ship to buy as your basic ship um, over the Aurora. I'd, I'd prefer it over the Aurora. A lot of first guides will tell you, you know, get one with a bed so you can log out when you're in space. But I find I very rarely logged out in space. I always logged out on a space station. Um, I've only just uh, started logging out now in my Carrick. But um, the Anvil doesn't have a bed, whereas the Aurora does. But the Anvil does have more um, uh, capacity to sell stuff. Like, so you can get, um, I think, four cargo in it. Uh, whereas my Nomad, my pledge ship, can get 24 cargo in the back of it. But that one, I think I paid, like, it's like uh, $80, $80 or something like that. I can't remember. But this one, I think, is only 50 ish or something like that. So it's a really good one to get. So. We'll talk a bit about this. So you've got your retrieve. If you've got retrieve, it means you can get it now. If you've got a claim, then you, it could take some time for you to actually get that. Um, like, so if I claim this, it's gonna be 40 seconds. If I file a claim, then it'll, it'll take 40 seconds to come, but you can actually expedite that for a cost. Um, so like my Carrick, if I was to get my Carrick and claim my Carrick, that's a 45 minute wait. And then I, but I could pay 22,000 to make it three minute wait. Um, so just keep an eye, I always have a ship, you know, that you can get easy, basically. Please visit us again. So let's Goodbye. go back into that and 
Let's grab my ship. To the ASOP vehicle retrieval system. So we'll vehicle that. selected. Stand by. And that's going to give me then put it in a hangar for me to to get. Your vehicle has so been delivered five. to the following location. Please visit And then us what again. we're going to do is going to look for the hangar lifts. If you ever didn't see what it was, just look at it and it tells you that it's in hangar five. So we're going to look here and we're going to look for um, elevators to hangars. Um, this way. And then elevators to hangars will be around here somewhere. Elevators to hangars there. This place here, you can rent ships. So you can actually rent ships and, and different things. You, you know, go through them and check them and rent them for three days. So that's like 100,000 to rent that for, for a, a, a day, I think it is, or three days. Um, so you can rent stuff like if you wanted to try a ship, you can always rent it for a couple of days. So there we go. I'm going to go to here. I'm going to select lift. Like I say, I'm going to step back away from the lift just in case. And I'm going to go to hangar three. Hangar five, see? I don't know why I said I don't know why I thought hangar three. Hangar five. I'm we'll going instead. Now press F4. Always make sure you've got your helmet on before you leave. I mean we're in the hangar, so we're all right now. But when you're on a spaceport and you've landed on a pad or it puts it on a pad for you, you're gonna go outside into the atmosphere and um, or lack of atmosphere and you will choke to death. Um, so we're in a hangar here on a planet. I'll quickly show you this over here. So this hospital bay here, if you've ever got someone injured and you've um, they've got like they're incapacitated and they've got an hour left or two hours left or whatever, you drag them onto your ship, land in one of these places on a planet. It doesn't they don't have it on the space stations, but they have them in the planets, and you can drag them and drop them in the lift here. Once you drop them in the lift, you send them up with this button here and they will then end up going into the hospital bed and being recovered basically and then you can go meet them upstairs by going up that way through the lifts over there so that's always remember that you can't get them on the space stations but you can get them on the planets so there we go oh so we're gonna go on here and i'm gonna shut my Thing. As I said, there's no bed in here, but there's space for four big boxes. And, and when I say four boxes, I don't mean the small ones we're going to pick up in our mission. I mean big, big cargo that you can sell, basically. Uh, and then you've got two um, jump seats there for anybody else that wants to um, come along with the army missions. I bought this because I loved it when we was giving it in a free flight. I absolutely loved it. So we're going to have a quick look at this. All systems online. So, when you first come on, you get, you you will have no All power. You'll be down like this. Um, so on here, you've got your VTOL if you've got a ship with it. You coupled mode. Always make sure that's lit. That's what I was talking about earlier. Um, ESP. I'm not too sure what that is. I've never messed with it. And then your landing gear. Then here you've got your um, your um, throttle and your boost and this is your maximum basically what you do is if you if it's in the green then you're going to get better control of your ship if it's in the red you're going to go faster but you're going to have less control of your ship um, so it's be careful of that and then you can also put this in um, cruise control so it does so you don't have to keep pressing forward then we've got over here this side of your app um, your altitude your G um, G's, how many G's you're gonna, you can, you can black out if that's too uh, goes too high. You end up blacking out. Um, then you've got your guns, which will you can switch and see your missiles as well. Then you've got your hydro, hydro fuel, your quantum fuel, your lock mode. I was talking about the gimbals. So if it's locked, then you're gonna have to move your ship around. If it's if it's on auto, then it's in gimbaled mode, and it will follow the uh, as long as you're within the circle, it will follow the um, the um, the enemy around 
uh, and then you've got your noise and your decoys that you can throw out and then your staggered gun so it staggers them instead of firing them all at the same time um, your shields are down at the moment and then you've got this is your signatures so this is your heat signature this is your cross section how fat you are and then this is your electromagnet signature so you want to sort of try and keep these as low as possible by upgrading your ship in stealth modes and stuff like that especially if you're going to be doing cargo runs be good to have stealth mode uh, stealth stealthier things so that's that uh, another quick note on my health down here you see i'm now 85 and 90 you find if you bring up your hydration and your food in a hospital bed they go down faster than if you have a drink and food um, so always be mindful of that that if you do your food and water in a hospital bed it's going to go down really quick um, it's just sort of like a quick temporary measure until you can get food and drink if you have food and drink it can last ages so let's power up so you've got I which will do your engines you which will do your power and now which will say your flight ready and, and, and do all the stuff you really need to do so we're going to power up And then what you've got here is on this one you've got a radar you've got your um panels for like um shields and when you missile locks and stuff like that and then you've got these mfds now you can press on on these mfds and um you um if you press um so if i look at my mfds and lock it on and then i press left and right I'm uh, not too sure, but you put, there's a way of, of zooming into them. Oh yeah, use your mouse. So if you use your mouse wheel here, and then you use left and right when she zoomed into one of them, they will flick between the different panels. Uh, there. So yeah, well, yeah. So you see how it's flicking between the different panels. So once you've zoomed into one of them, you just press left and right. I'm using my D-pad, and it, it'll just it'll go between them between all the panels each of these panels can be used so like this one here is when you've got a target but you can actually change it to something else if you want to look at your power instead or whatever um, so all these can be changed and, and what's called but I'm not going to go into all this stuff at the moment because um, you don't need you don't need to know this stuff at the moment but you you've got all this stuff where you've got your buttons and stuff like that that you can press like for turning your power on uh, on you know doing your engines on and off and then over here somewhere is, is um, opening the back if you need to open the back um, hit this one here you can look at this one and call for um, for them for the station to open the doors which I'll show you in a second so that's that basically we are ready to go first I want to pick up a mission and then we'll get the comms. So to go to a mission, I'm going to press F1. I'm going to go down to the contracts manager. And delivery is what we're going to do. I mean, you've got all these other different ones that you can look at more later on. But we're going to go delivery now. Personal, these are uh, black, sort of black market ones. And these ones, you can end up with crime stats by with these ones. So I would look at these more when you're more into the game. Accepted is once you've accepted a mission, this is where it be. Completed missions here. And then beacons is when someone's left a beacon for you to go and rescue them or whatever, or you can create a beacon yourself. So we're going to go to this one, and it's going to be, we're going to, they're looking for a new delivery pilot. And this is going to be, so each time you go to a new planet, you'll get a basic first mission in each of the things um, before you can start um, doing more missions for them. So you've got to sort of bring up this, uh, these things here. So you're going to start off as an applicant, and then you're going to go up to junior runner and runner when the more you do. So the first one here that we're going to do, um, this red one, so it's 3,000 we'll get from AUC. And what we're going to do is going to go and look for, they just want one package from this place, and we're going to just drop it off at this place. Basically that, that's it. That's all we're going to do. Um, so once you have done this one, you'll get more than come up here but it'll be pick up three packages from the same place and drop up three different locations or pick up at three different locations and drop off in one location but you'll be getting 8,000 for each of those missions and there'll be times where you go into the same places so you can pick up two or whatever depending on the ship you've got 
uh, and where you can put the boxes. So let's accept this offer. That's going to go into my accepted here. And then we've got, it's got a pin on it, which means we've tracked it. So you can untrack it if you want, or you can track it. So we've done that. And then there's normally a share button as well once you've got other people on as well and you're, you're a bit in. So there we go. We can come out of that. And then what we're going to do now you're is they've given us clearance to launch. But generally what you'll do is you'll go to your comms or to here and you'll you'll basically uh, ask them uh, see Lawful landing here, you'll click that there and then they'll basically tell you you can launch. So if you press F4, we're um, here, we're just going to go up, space bar to go up and then press N to put your landing gear in. I'm going to go back a bit because for some reason they end up putting me in a thing that ends up hitting that. And then we go. Start coming out. And what I'm going to do is, if you are in this mode and you and you press a Z, or is it F? F. You press keep you. keep press F and here. then press F4. It will. Um, you can move around out of here, and I think you press Z and do the same as well. And basically, we're just going to go up and, and come out of this. The thing to look at here is in Lawville. You see that like big structure there, like the big pyramid structure, and the way it slants down here. And then you can see the Tessa spaceport things there. When you're coming in, that's what you've got to look for, for landing, basically. You can land anywhere, but that's where you need to land if you go into the spaceport. So that's that. So I'm just pushing up on my pad. Um, I'm just going to try and get out of the atmosphere. Now, if you press C, you see the little thing that just came up on that, um, this section here. This is your cruise control. If you scroll your mouse up, uh, oh, better not press F while I'm doing that. If I scroll my mouse up, I can make that go higher. And then you've got a boost, so you can boost. I'm not too sure what the key is for that. I think it's like one of the commands or controls or something like that, does it? Um, not too sure. Tab it, maybe. It's whatever your run is, I think. Whatever the run is. Um, you have to have a look at your key bindings for that but basically you can boost as well to get there um, when you have this on be very careful because sometimes basically you're going at that speed and sometimes you forget about it and boom you're, you're smashing into stuff so always be aware of that um, cruise control if you want to slow down press backwards um, S or back on your d-pad and then press your boost button or your run button and you'll Got like an air brake which will slow you down a lot sooner so that's where we're going we're looking for that there and if you press b you'll get your map that comes your thing that comes up your hood that comes up you have to be out of the atmosphere to have the blue ones come up if they're all red then you need to exit the atmosphere so let's have a quick look at some of these for you so these hexagon ones will be bases or away endpoints to jump out of the atmosphere or to around the planet um, circle ones are planets. So the what's that one? Microtech. Um, these square ones here are the like I said the jump points. Circle with a small circle is a moon. Um, if they've got like the hatched uh, head etched and not solid, it means they're on the other side of the planet. And if they're red, it means they're obstructed. Um, so two more to look at is uh, you're going to look for an upside down house or a housey looking one there. So that's the main city, which is Larville. And so it's the same um, icon for each. See it, upside down housing uh, for each main city uh, on the planets. And then you've got one up there, which is a, a square with, with rounded corners, which will always be the space station to go to. So those are the things to look out for if you want to look out. Or you can just um, go to your star map here, and then you can look on your star map for the for the places. So, like, say if I wanted to go to Hurston's main city, I would go to Hurston, double click Hurston, then use my mouse wheel to scroll in, and then you pressing my mouse button, I can spin it round or right mouse button to move it, and then you would look, and then you click it, and then you set your route here, um, and then it would just put that on your map for you. 
So what we're going to do is I'm going to clear that route and I'm going to come back up and I'm going to go to my pack pickup package one here. And that's where that is. So I'm going to click that. Woodruff. I've got enough because it's green enough um, quantum to get there. And I'm going to set my, set my room. There we go. So I'm going to have to jump to OEM1, then to Ita, and then to Woodruff. So there we go. So you see now I've got a square that's come up. That there is your um, pickup location, but it's blocked, so you can't go that way. So I've got to go this way. And what we're going to do now is we're going to wait for this to spool up here, and this one here spools as well. The longer you've jumped, the more time it takes to cool down. Um, so that's why you have to upgrade your quantum drive, so you can do further distances faster and less cool down time. So that's the uh, orbital marker one. And then we're going to look for the little blue arrow again, which is down this way. As you see there, ITER. I'm going to wait for that spool up. And then we're going to jump. To jump, you keep hold of B. Just going to have a drink. Now, jumping around the areas, like the moons and that, doesn't take too long. But when you're jumping from planet to planet, say you jump from here to Microtech, it could take five to ten minutes to get to that planet. So you just go and chill and do whatever you want to do. Make a brew or something. Right, so um, here we are. You see that spooling up at the top there. I'm going to go up there and spool up at the side. And then we're going to quantum to that. By keeping all the feet. Press F4, have a look outside your ship. Have a look around your ship. Taking the, you know, the views. Lovely. So this will jump me to within 25 kilometers of it. 20, yeah, 25 kilometers of it. Um, 22 point. Yeah, 22.2. It's generally around 25-ish. So, when this spools up, you'll see, if you haven't got a target, uh, like I've got the pickup package there, you can have this pressing um, B. Um, see how it says 22 kilometers there? That, so don't worry about that. That was just me pressing um, my decoy by accident. Um, see how it says 20 odds there? Um, if you haven't got something like that, you can just press B and then you can have a look at the place you go in to, uh, what's it called, uh, so you can see kilometres. Now I'll wait till I get to about one kilometre before I start um, worrying about it. As you're coming in, press your tab and you will do like that. It's really good for when it's dark and you can't see much, so you can see the ground. I mean, it's alright now because we can see the ground, but when it's dark and you can't see the ground it's a good way of, of, of what's it called him another thing to be aware of is moons moon gravity is a lot less than planet gravity and you move a lot faster so there's more chance of you crashing so once you get close in i would bring my with my mouse wheel bring my thing down and um, bring my gear down by pressing n once you've you set that and you um, start seeing the lights of the place you're going to flashing, bring your um, your what's it called down your control down again. Uh, when I'm saying that, I'm on about this here, bringing this down. So the cap it's capped where that is. It caps no matter how much you're pushing up, it won't it won't go any further than that. So you start bringing that down and go out of your view. And as you can see, once you can see the landing coming up then you can do it in the third person view which was um you know it can be a lot easier for, for new pilots so here we go most of these places are generally the same they've got a big landing pad small landing pad and then these two blue ones is where you can pick up rovers like for planetary stuff um, like for plant you know like little rovers that you can go and you know buzz around on the planet itself and they generally all have they'll have that little airport one which is blue and then they'll generally have three other cabins. You'll have the habitation cabin, you'll have the 
big cabin where there's um, all the stuff um, like we're picking up boxes and you know stuff like that and then you'll have like an admin section so all we're gonna do is we're just gonna land here you don't have to ask for permission to land on these these pads so we're just gonna land here another thing to note is it with something I didn't realize is when you land on these pads um, you can actually repair and refuel on these pads by going to your vehicle maintenance here and then refuel and all that stuff there so you don't have to actually be in a, a, sta a station to do it you can do them on these as well next thing to look at is when you land press I to sign landing bay. press I to turn off your engines you don't want to turn your power off because that will bring your shields down and if somebody attacks you um, then you're going to have no shields and you're, you're, going to, you're just going to blow your ship up quick. So just turn your engines off. And the reason for that is if the, if the wind picks up and it takes your ship, the engines are going to make it go even further. So just um, turn your engines off, keep your shields on. We're in an arm assist zone, as you see in the top right corner, so you shouldn't get any issues, but just in case. So keep an older Y, come out of your seat, and then we're just going to... Um, just go and do some stuff yeah so this is what i do when i come to these bases oh be very careful coming out in windy places because you will get smashed around um i always close my lid well i don't always actually um but it's advised to close your lid so other people don't sneak onto your ships and hide and wait till you get out the arms of the sun and shoot in the back of the head so be careful of that um but i'm not too worried at the moment so as you see now down in the bottom here we've got the temperatures gone down to minus 30 and there was a timer that came up here a minute ago as the weather changes you'll see the timer comes up and depending on the equipment you've got on your timer could be you know five minutes to an hour or whatever survival time so be aware of that on the moons as well low gravity so you're going to jump higher be careful be very very careful um, because you could end up hurting yourself you don't get this on planets as well so I always think like if you've got a ship where you've landed and you've jumped off the back of your ship or whatever in the moon you might be able to jump back on it but on a planet you might not be able to because you've packed on a rock or something you know so what we're gonna do is just gonna go looting this is what I do always go looting can you pick up some stuff and this is why I said to you at the beginning you don't need to buy all that stuff because this this is we're going to pick it all up now Ooh. so this little airport bit here where you can like say you can pick up your rover so if i go here i could you know if i wanted to you can't put bring ships here so i'll let you know that Welcome now you can't ASOC bring ships here but you can bring systems. like little rovers and stuff like that so i could bring my gray cat here and uh, and my um the other one I've got, the rover, the Ursa rover there, I can bring them here. Now, so what we're going to look for for looting is these boxes here. You're just going to crouch down and loot this box. And in this box, you've got your external, and then hover here, you've got your local. So what we're going to do is, if you've got backpacks and stuff on, you might have um, this, it might show that there, and you'll be trying to move stuff over, and it'll be saying it's full. Just remember, you'll have a tab here in a minute, which will show you, which is your local, and then um, whatever you've got packed on your thing. Now things to look at here is these could be worth 300, so we're gonna grab that, we're gonna grab the helmets, we're gonna grab these beanies worth a couple of hundred. Food, if you want food, energy drinks and water, we're gonna grab a couple of those. Why buy them, you can nick them. This stuff we don't really touch. We haven't really looked too much into it, but there's apples and other food. I you don't need to take loads, but we take these because they could be worth a couple of thousand, you know, each. Uh, flares, you don't really need them, but you can. We can grab these and eat these if you want to eat these, but you don't need to so that's that drop them into your local and that means this local area is where they're going to be and we're going to do that for all of these places before we go and pick up the box now one thing to watch out here is when you come out of these places i always crouch and go down slow because the amount of times i've died jumping out of these and breaking my legs it's, it's, it's mad um yeah you don't want to do that so we're just going to go around now to each of these. Just 
double tap here. Oh, again, see that it is. The wind, the wind can take you. Got to be really careful. Oh, it just threw me out. Too close to the door. Don't cycle it. There we are. Right, it keeps throwing me out. It's going to kill me in a minute, this thing, I can tell you. Go slow. There we are. So be careful because it will kill you. A little bugs like that. Okay, so this is the main place where you can pick up um, and deliver boxes here. So this is probably where you're going to go. Now in here we've got a grey box there, a grey box there, a red box there, and a red box up here. And sometimes they'll have a red box bound here. So what we'll do is we'll look at the grey boxes first. The grey boxes you don't get um, much um, stuff in that you want to keep, but we're going to take that little tractor beam because we're a couple of hundred, some boots, a uh, beanie. We're going to throw them all in the local. We'll take water because it's better hydration than that. That will give you food, but that uh, as well as hydration, but that will just give you better hydration. Um, gloves, we'll take the gloves, why not? And then we'll take the, uh, the um, mining tools. And that's it, you don't need to buy, you don't, you don't need to take all of it, basically. We'll do the same with this one. Grab all the stuff from this one. When it decides it wants to do it. Gonna do it. There we go. So we're gonna take them pants, we'll sell them at um, one of the space stations. We'll take the med things and, and these multi-tools. We'll take a couple of those. And this is why I was saying you don't have to go and buy them because you, just, you can take them from these places. We'll grab these shoes these shoes cool cool we'll grab that and then what we'll do is we'll go to the red boxes the red boxes will give you better stuff like um, helmets armor and all that stuff so once it comes on come off it and try again we go so we've got a few different helmets so we can swap our helmet out if we want get rid of that one throw it in the local put on a different one and then just grab these and throw them all in the local be, be aware of these helmets there is no mask they will kill you if you're in if you're going into a, a, a non-breathable atmosphere so be careful of what you do put on so that's that and then we're going to take this box here Being a bit slow today, these. <clears throat> Let's take a drink. All right, so, so there we are. So just give us some arms, so we'll just stick them on. Another helmet there, throw that in there. Another helmet, throw that in there. We'll sell this stuff, you see. So there we go. And we're gonna come out of here. And again, just once you hit that airlock, Duck, press duck, which is uh, I think control or command or something like that. Wait for this to open, and then go down slowly. It's not worth jumping down because having to come all the way back after it kills you. So before we go in there and grab the box, I'm going to go to this one. throwing me out again I don't know if it's a bug or something but I'm going to be careful because I don't want to die there we are and this is just the habitation one it tells you above the door I'll show you that in a second you, you get used to what they look like so we're going to have a look around so the two, two red boxes I've seen and one grey box so we'll go to the grey box first see what they've got in here uh, so we'll take the tractor, we'll take the pants, we'll take the med things, because we'll sell all that, you see, and we don't need anything else. And then I'm going to go to here, see what they've got in this one. Taking its time today. There we are. So another suit, if you want to put another suit on. This can be worth anything between one and that, so 3,000. But you can't wear it because it will. You, you can't wear that one. It's a different type of helmet. 
um, a suit, you know, we'll take that and take that on there, and then some more arms, which we'll put in the local again. Uh huh. And then we'll go to the last red box over here, and then once it loads up, well, that backpack we can can we put that on? We can put that on, and then some orange arms. So like I could take them arms there. So see how now you've got the two tabs here. So I could take those arms, drop them in there, grab those arms and put them on instead. Some orange arms. So we are. That's that. This area done. Um, I'll show you what I mean by the habitation thing. It tells you what it is above. Yeah. So you see above habitation there, it tells you. So you'll have storage, you'll have, I can't remember what the other one is, but you've got storage, which is the one I'm going to now. No, I think that's storage. And this one is mining control. Storage is generally where you will um, drop off boxes 99% of the time. So let's have a look around here. There's generally a couple of rooms to look around in here. So you'll sometimes get like here, there's a grey box. They could be down the sides though as well. And what we'll do is we'll put that into the local. Drop all our stuff into the Stuff that we can sell and you know, all that stuff. Just grab all of this. Grab another one of them and another one. I'm just gonna have to grab them later. Grab the two med devices. They're worth a couple of hundred each. You know, you can make a good few grand just by the stuff you, you loot in there. So let's have a look around. There's our package we've got to pick up. There's another grey box here. Set so that to local again. Again, that's a couple of hundred. That's about 700. And we haven't got one of them, so we could stick that on our belt if we wanted to. Um, so we've got one then. Um, shoes, definitely take that. Beanie, definitely take that. That's a couple of hundred. That's a few hundred, maybe a thousand. There we are. Oh, and that's another medical device there we could take. that and then there's another grey box there we'll loot we'll take the pants we'll drop into the local take the pants we'll take the pants and um, we'll take the boots we'll take this little um, helmet you think and then check the other rooms another grey box two grey boxes here you don't have to grab all this stuff, but it can be worth some money and it's always worth looking. Well, normally it's, it's sort of instant, it's not like this doesn't take all this time. So take that, we'll take that, we'll take that. And that's all we need from that. And then we'll take from this one. We'll take that, we'll take the shoes, Louis Vuittons. We'll take that. Actually, I'll put that one on my belt. And then we'll take that. We'll take that. Anything else we can take from here? Some more shoes. Looks like a coat there. Now, this coat could be worth anything from zero to a couple of hundred to a couple of thousand. It depends. It, sometimes you'll have the same coat. And one will be worth two thousand and one will be worth zero. So it's always worth taking them anyway. And then that one's empty. Right. So that's that. The first section done, and what we're going to do is now we're just going to take this box here. Grab this box. The boxes um, vary. You can have some boxes that are really light, some boxes are really heavy, so it takes you, you know, longer to walk with it. Go as we come out of here. See how the wind's picking up now as well. So yeah, I'm walking. That's not me walking. It's just, I'm pulling, pushing fully on my pad, but the wind is pulling me, so if I was to 
you see, I'm, I'm taking those big strides. So, yeah. Oh. Another thing is, well, you, I don't think you can jump when you're holding these boxes, these packages. Yeah. You can run, but I don't think you can jump. So, let's get back to the Pisces, drop this off, and then we're going to go and deliver it. So we'll get 3,000 for the initial delivery and then all the stuff we've got that we can sell. And again, so once we get to the delivery point, we'll do the same. We'll loot in that area. Oh, did you see the lightning then? See that mod uh, commodity thing that's just come up? That's what I was on about. You'll get commodity alerts from the areas you might be near. Right, so here we go. Now, I would suggest not just dropping it by pressing F, uh, keep hold of F, and rather than drop it, I would place it. Once you place it, it's it, you know, it's better than just dropping it for me. And then we'll drop that there. Hey. That's a drop, place. Let me place it now. And let me drop it instead. Whoa! These are the good things about this game. <laughs> so there we go, we'll just drop it there now instead. I'm not going to mess around with it. There is you know, little bugs like that that happen. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to drag all this stuff and put it onto my vehicle. So that what their way then, we're taking it out of the local of this area, Woodruff, and we're dropping it all onto my vehicle so that when I get to back to base later, I can um, sell it. There needs to be a quick way of doing this, but there isn't, unfortunately. There was. There isn't. I'm using a mouse for this bit. It's so much easier with a mouse than trying to do it with a pad. So just so you know why I'm doing it so fast. Until they get that move all button. It's just quick to do it with a mouse like this. Almost done. Got more to do. I think there's enemies outside. I can hear something. <laughs> but we're in an armistice zone, so if they attack us, they will be shot at and we'll get a crime stat. Alright, so that's that. Uh, all dropped into my vehicle. So, get into the seat. We're going to turn the engines on. And we're going to take off. Yeah, there we are. Enemies, this looks like some fighting or something going on there. So I could help these. There's two guys fighting here, it looks like. So I could help these guys, which I'm going to do. But you see the, like, um, Meatball.
Okay. So here we go. So we've got our package. We've put all our stuff onto the inventory. So now we're going to go and drop off this package. No, we're not going to drop it off there. Are we going to drop it off there? Uh, that's where we're going to drop it off there. Theodos. So this should drop me in again around 20 odd. And as I've shown you before, we can take this off and we can just follow this in. As you see, my um, thing is full, but I'm not going to put on my cruise control, I'm just going to push up. I'm using my ping to get a lay of that land and because we're coming into the planet now we um, you'll see it's a bit slower coming into the atmosphere it's not as fast as um, when you come into the moon so I'm just gonna bring my gear down and I'm gonna start bringing down my with the scroll wheel the um, the uh, thing the limit I'm gonna press L to turn my lights on and that's it basically, you can see the thing coming in. That's it, I'm just gonna do the same thing, but this time we're gonna drop off the package first. We'll drop off the package first, where we lift, where we picked it up last before after doing the loot. And we're gonna drop it off first, getting the, the job done. You don't have to land on the landing pads, you can land near the um, places where you're going to go. So I'll show you. I'm gonna leave the landing pads for the bigger, bigger people, bigger ships. Again, you see we've got the the three buildings and the fourth one over there. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to land next to it. Open the back door, grab the package. I'm gonna go in up. Oh. Keep doing that to me. I'm gonna go in here. And we're gonna drop this off at this machine here. So on these machines, you've got to pick up one there, and you've got to drop off one there. So you can just drop that, and then we're just gonna double tap F. Or press F once. I don't know. Whatever you want. And he'll put it in. Don't take it back out. Let the, the door come down and get the thumbs up. And that's it. Job done. Contract complete. And there's our 3,000. And now we're on the board. We've got some, um, some, uh, um, I'll show you, some goods to the contracts, not the contracts, the Delphi. And um, this will start going up. I've done a few different jobs with this company, so this will start going up more, and then you know, this will start going green. But if I now go to the jobs, then you'll see now in the delivery i've got eight thousand dollar jobs now where you're picking up one or, and dropping off in three or uh, some of them you'll get where you drop off uh, you pick up at three and drop off at one but there you go so that's that so what we're going to do now is we're gonna 
and go and loot again. This machine, by the way, is a trading console. So as you do trading and stuff, you can sell you sell your stuff that's on your ship, just like your ship is the location, um, or you can buy. So you can buy that diamond and so, and then you go and sell it elsewhere. So it's a good way of, of earning money as well. But I'm not going to get into that just now. There's another video uh, showing you how to earn 150,000 uh, on my channel. If you look in the in the Star Citizen um, things, so let's just. Do all this loot and then grab all this stuff again that we do. Grab another bottle of water. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And then that's that. And let's try this other one. If you want to know how to do that, just press left and right on your D-pad. Sometimes you might be in the way, something might be in the way and it's just easier just to move around so you can grab it. Like if you want to grab something on the side like there, I can't grab that gun there. So I'll come around and I can grab it. Let's throw all this in the local. By the way, the eagle-eyed of you may know, or have seen, <laughs> uh, that I didn't come to the place that, um, that I had the job and I'm now wearing white and not all the stuff I had on before. That's because when I came out the atmosphere of the, where I picked up the box, the last box, there was a big battle going on, and I joined in the battle and killed someone and got a crime stat, and um, then got blown up on there to spend an hour or so in prison. So I had to basically come back to what I was doing after. But it's the same thing. I've dropped the package off. We got paid gonna go and do some loot in now sometimes what I'll do is because I've got the small Pisces I'll jump in the Pisces and I'll just go from place to place while I'm looting but for this I'm just gonna walk over to each one to show you nice red box there that we'll have a look at in a minute so see what's in here so another grey box so there's a good few thousands worth of stuff in there in this. Like these white things are these white guns are med guns are set seven hundred each when you sell them at the med centres. So yeah, some decent stuff. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, an helmet there, I'll take that. Mining helmet, sell it in the mining place. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Cool, that's that one. I'm gonna check the red box. And then you get a good stuff in these ones. It seems to come after coming out and resetting. It seems to to help. When so and when you got stuff in the local, don't forget to actually put it back in your ship afterwards. Because there's been times I've done that I've, I forgot. But it's always here. It's always in the local. So um, you can always come back and grab it. Um, I'm just going to stick this armour on, that's generally what I do when I find armour like that, if I've not got any on. We're all good here, anything in here, no, anything in here, no, move on to the next one. Missed that one there earlier, let's see what's in here. So again, this court proof a few thousand. Oh, no, we don't want to put it in personal, so I'll drag that back over. Go to the local and check it all back in then. Like that. Uh, where did it go? Don't know where it's gone. It's still in my personal, yeah. So you can do it this way as well. You can drop it that way from your personal to your local. And then back to the external over there. Local, I'm going to take these. Tractor beam things with a couple of hundred each. I'm going to take that helmet, probably with a probably a thousand maybe. And that one, a couple of hundred. These beanies are a couple of hundred. Um, mining tool, a few hundred. Boots, a couple of hundred. These are a couple of hundred. Yeah, there we are. Let's grab that and let's go.
You, if you press T, because it's dark outside, if I press T, you also have a torch. So I'm going to to this one, and then we just got the little blue one further over there. What's it do? Let's get this down. Maybe a thousand. Gloves can be a few, three, three, four hundred. And you just see what I'm just cherry picking uh, the things. The red box there, I'll go and visit in a minute. Let's check around first. And the grey one. Welcome. See, this is what I'm saying about not having to buy stuff unless you really, really need it. You can even pick it up. When you do the bunker missions, you'll pick up guns and, and more ammo, uh, armor. When you kill like one of the Nine Tails guys, you'll pick up armor off them. A, a tip um, for you is if you do kill somebody, if you grab their undersuit and uh, it will take everything that's attached to the undersuit. So whatever you take, it'll take everything that's attached to that. So if I was to grab this undersuit and drop it on my stuff, it would you would see everything that's attached to it would um, would also drop into the, the thing. So now that's there. Let's stick that one on. Let me stick that on. That's all them in there. And then what I can do is I can go back again and just put them on that on and put the arms on. And now I've got different undersuit. So one more place to go, and then I'll show you going back to the um, place to um, sell it. Also, something I did forget earlier. Oof, be careful you don't do that because it will kill you. Something I did forget to do earlier was um, set my respawn location to be on Everest Harbour. So one of the things you want to do when you first start is to um, I'm just going to use this to move over to the next one one of the things you want to do is set your respawn point at Everest Harbour um, before you actually go off on your mission because if you don't when you die you'll have to go back on the planet and through the trains and all that stuff whereas if you just if you just um set your respawn to Everest Harbour by going to Everest Harbour and uh, setting it there which I'll show you in a minute um, you'll see then that whenever you die you will um, respawn at Everest Harbour and you don't have to go through all the trains and all that stuff it's going to kill me one day it's going to kill me I mean I've been killed by it a few times but I always try not to die, so nothing in here. So let's get back out, back in the ship and go. And what we're going to do now is that job store, we're going to head to Everest Harbour and show you what we do to sell all this gear that we've nicked. See, I almost forgot. That's some. Uh, you know, you gotta remember. Don't, don't forget. Don't forget it. I always forget. All my stuff from the local needs to come over onto my ship. just really needs that button just to send all to the one place because it's so painful doing this but it's worth so much money you know 
maybe probably 20 grand. You know, 10, 15 to 20 grand. We get from all this stuff, not more. Uh, you know, I say you've just got three grand for the mission itself. If you can sell this off for 20 grand, you can see why it's worth doing it. Obviously, when you get to the point where you're actually earning 150,000 an hour doing other missions, you don't need to do this. But for these early stages of box missions, or just grabbing gear, little loot runs, or whatever, it's worth it. There we are, so it's all on my ship local now. We're just gonna go up, gear down. Landing gear, raised. I'm fast at doing this because I'm used so used to doing it, but you you know just take your time. See how they're all red means I'm still in the atmosphere. So I've got to wait for them to go to blue. Or some of them to go blue. Like that. Now I'm at the atmosphere, I'll turn the cruise control off and I'll run up for every cyber. So I've got to point back down to the planet and what we're looking for? We are looking for that. So I'm gonna to have to boost out of the system. So what I've got to do is look for an unknown end point like that. And then I can look back down. Every side is still blocked, as you see, so I'll jump round to the next point. OEM6. You can just go into your map and select Everest Harbour and it will only show the points to get round to it. I'm so used to doing it this way now. As you see now, I've just gone around the planet and I can get to it. Oh yeah. Um, and push up. Be careful when you um, fly in your space. See how, see how I'm pushing up with lot all my thrusters there. What I do is I turn that off and then I wait and I point away from the actual thing itself. And then this moment the armistice zone thing comes up, I start backing off like now. I'll pull back and I'll use my boost to air brake. But I don't point at the, the thing itself until I get to a nice area and then I put that down into the blue. And that's it now we're going to contact and get a landing zone. I think my um, Please proceed to assign landing bay. Carrick is around here somewhere. My Carrick's just hanging around here somewhere. So that's where we're heading there. Be careful when you come into Everest, especially Everest Harbour, because you'll get if you're in first per third person like this, you won't realise sometimes that security come up and want to scan you, and you've got to stop and wait for them to scan you. Deployed. It's on the other side. I think you might be on the other side. You take your time when you're doing your landings and stuff like that. You'll get used to it. Over time. I've, I've been playing about three months, so... You know, I'm used to... 
to just flying around. Oh. Still making mistakes like that. <laughs> Let's turn my lights off. Don't need them on. There we are. Thank and then you. what we're going to do here is we are going to, once we come out of the sea, oh, turn it off. Now we turn your engines off. So let me just get back in that seat actually. So when you land, try and make it a habit to turn your engines off. And press F1 and check your maintenance. None required. Sometimes it's that and you have to come back into it and do it. But as you see, I've I've, I've got low I had low um I had low uh, quantum and that so okay. And what we're going to do now is we're going to launch. No, I don't want to launch, thank you. I'm just going to press I and just throw all this lot over from my vehicle to my local. So from my vehicle here to my local here, which is the Everest Harbour local. So let's do that. Just drag all this lot over. So these helmets here, these they can be worth about, I think they're only worth about 1,500 here, but down at Microtech, um, the um, space station there, Port Tressler, they were three 3,500. So it depends where you want to go with them, really. You can leave some of these drinks on your ship and stuff if you want. I feel like when you come back out another time. But remember, if your shit gets destroyed, anything that's on it is gone. It's all gone. And that includes cargo. But not the boxes. The boxes that we was delivering then, if your ship gets destroyed, then boxes are still there. Uh, they'll fall to the planet or just float around in space or whatever. Um, so you can go back and get them if you die. You'll see like a red X on your screen that you can go to collect your body and get all the stuff off it that was on it. When I died earlier on, I went to prison and all that stuff, my body was floating in space and it was just spinning so I couldn't get to it. So I just left it in the end, just went to jail, did my time for the crime of killing the man in his ship. But the man was the red, he was red and he was firing at me so I killed him and I got crime stuff for it. But Oh, someone's getting someone's getting battered outside. Come on, so much stuff, but it's worth it. Like I said, if you can get twenty grand from this lot, it's gonna be worth it. It's be worth it. So it's always worth keeping some helmets and stuff that you pick up just on the um, space station so that you, if you do have some good helmets and then you die or whatever with older helmets on or whatever, you've got some older ones you don't have to keep going out with decent helmets that you want to parade yourself around the station with. Taking some time, isn't it? There we are. It will get there in the end. But it's all going into my local inventory. Once it's in your local inventory, then it's safe then. There we are. Almost there. Done. What I might do is take the body armor and drop that in there, take the arms and drop that in there as well. Get out of here. Ship has been cleaned, done. Uh, going that way. See how I said earlier on about the uh, medical bay, there isn't one on the space station to drop people. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to a med bay. This should have been done after you left Hurston, the planet. 
Lawville. This way is where you should have landed first. Okay, guys, so the game crashed on me. When I called the lift early, it wouldn't let me in. So I had to come out of the game and um, load back in. But when I came back in, I didn't have the gear on that I had. So that's lost. But that's why I put it on in local, as I'll show you in a minute. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go to the lobby of the space station. And we're going to put our ship away first. So other people can use the hangars and that. So to the machines. We're going to just commit ourselves. And... Oh. From here, we're gonna go Welcome and put our ship ASAP away. So we're gonna hit the store button, that put our ship away, keep it safe, and then other people can use that then. So now that we've got that, as you see now, I don't have the same gear, the same suit on. So, but because I put everything into the local, it doesn't matter. It's just a, it's just a suit, so it's not an issue. So this is where you can go and get food and drink. I don't need anything at the moment, but I'll quickly show you. So if I was to do a quick buy on, say, the, this here, um, you can't eat it because you've got a helmet on. So what you have to do is take your helmet off and then you press your trigger and you can eat it, your fire button, you can eat it. Same with this, if I go to here and I grab like a bottle of water or one of these cans, so if I grab a can, because I don't need energy, so I don't need the um, everything else. So, and what, again, what you do is if you keep holding your trigger, she'll drink you just keep keep all your trigger and she'll drink or you can just press your trigger once and she'll do sips if you don't want to drink it all and we'll just throw that down later so what we're going to do is and see how we don't have my helmet on now that's the biggest mistake uh, we make is we go and have something to eat and drink and then we go out um, onto a pad and don't have um, our helmets on so always remember, put your helmet back on. Right, so this is your patient check-in here. Uh, there's your pharmacy there. And then this is where you would come um, after you leave the planet. Always come here first before you go out on your mission. You, once you've done it here once, that's it, then it's set. But that's what you should do after leaving that planet. So we click here. And it's probably already set here for me. So you just hit reset location and then confirm. And that'll do. That's all done. So then when you die, this is where you'll respawn at this place. So you don't have to go on all the trains and everything else like that. You literally just start in the hubs, which is just over here. Just down here. So that's where you'll come out of the hubs there. There's the lifts to the gallery and stuff. The first thing we'll do is we're gonna to go to the pharmacy. We're gonna use the kiosk here. And we're gonna go oh. I'm gonna go to the cell button and we're gonna choose Everest Harbour as our thing. And then this is all the stuff we've got in Everest Harbour that we can sell. So all these pens, if you want to sell these. Right, so you see these med, med devices, we've got so many of them. So I'll just quick sell. The head nurse, please report to med station if this gets stuck nurse, doing this, just four. wait. Because if you pull away from it, um, it won't allow you to do. It won't allow you to, to carry on and you, until like you log off and all that stuff. So that's what we're going to do, basically, just... Ready to get your go here and we're just going to sell these. Use one of our convenient uh, I'm not going to go through them all because I don't want you to sit here watching me do it. But basically that's what you'll do. Make sure you save one yourself for yourself and you save one of your, your refills for yourself. Um, then batteries don't matter. See how these are 163 here? Well, you can sell them for more upstairs. These 188, I think you can sell at this point here because of the medical one, so you get better money at the medical place. So, there we go. So, sell the stuff you need. Look at the prices, 96, 96, 96, uh, 109 for that one, for the mining one. So, there we are. So, that, that's where you're gonna sell your medical stuff. And then we're gonna go over to the elevator. I'm going to go up to Galleria. And then in the Galleria, we're going to go... Um, I'm trying to remember where it is now. It's not down there. 
it's here. So this is where you'll come and sell any armor you've got. You can also buy armor here. So we'll go to sell again, Everest Harbour, and this is all the stuff you can sell, your helmets and stuff like that. So you see these are 1,500 here, but you can sell them at 3,000 at Port Tressler. So I'll just sell these here. Actually, I'll save once, that's 1,515. I'll see how much they are at the um, cargo place downstairs. So this is where you'll sell your armor and stuff that you want to sell, your helmets and all that stuff. And come over me. You can also buy off the shelf here, so you can like click and buy off the shelf, as well as buy there. And then we're going to go upstairs to Cabasa. Is it up here? Cabasa. Platinum Bay is where you get your upgrades for your ship. And then we've got Cassava whatever it's called here and then on here we're going to go sell again and this is where you can sell your clothes like your beanies so 400 for your beanie arts uh, like I said uh, see 300 for that one but zero for that one 378 for that one so yeah you'll see the zero for that 97 for them 1000 for the courts and he gloves 160 yard boots around 70 ups 130 again 402 for the same court so basically just selling what you want to sell keep what you want to keep so on we go to the next area sell whatever you want from the one thing to remember, this yellow place here, so there's another one of those um, kiosks, but these yellow places here, these admin, they're called the admin offices. If you get any jobs where you've got to deliver on a space station, this is where you'll come to this one, just so you know, and then there's commodities that you can sell here as well. But there is some hidden kiosks in places for doing a little bit more illegally stuff. So let's get back to the elevators, and this time I'm going to go down to the cargo area. Once you've sold what you want to sell and, and that, I'm just I'm not selling the stuff here, I'm just showing you like where to go on this Everest Arbor bit. So we're gonna go to cargo, I'm gonna sell the other bits. There's another um, thing there. So always remember where, where these places might be because you might other other ones might not accept them. So you have to go around looking for them. And again, we're going to go to sell and we're going to look on here. So bottles of juices and waters and stuff that we can sell now. And our bars we've nicked. See the hats there, they sold more at the upstairs in Cassaba or whatever. Uh, these are about the same, I think. Um, let's have a look what we're looking for. I was looking for the mining attachments and stuff like that. Oh, there's that helmet I want to look at. So here, look, 3, 000, uh, 2,700 here. So 1,200 more upstairs or in the cargo area. So that's the thing to look at. Oh, so he's got another page there. I didn't realize he had pages. It's the first time I've ever seen that. Um, so what I'm looking for here is, so see how these are 300 here, but there was 700 downstairs. And these are, there was 100 and something downstairs and it's 200 and odd up here. So yeah. Um, that's it basically, just sell the stuff you want to sell. So the mining tools, 190 up here. See there's one, I think those went down for more downstairs. Yeah, so there you are. So just sell the stuff you need. I reckon I could have made well, if each one of those, these these things were 700, so that was uh, 740, I sold two downstairs, 740, 1,500, so um, three grand, um, six grand, so three grand, 
six grand, six thousand seven five uh, seven five seven seven five hundred ish just on them. So seven seven grand on just them, I think, if my maths are right. So you can see why it's worth picking this stuff up. But that's it anyway. So that's my start guide, and it's pretty easy. Uh, a little bit of grinding. You made three hundred three thousand from your first box, and then you probably made twenty grand from the stuff you sold. So twenty three grand. Um, next uh, mission where you get three boxes. Um, you got to visit four different places so can you imagine you're going to get eight grand from that and then we visit four places if you've got 20 grand's worth of stuff from two places you're going to get you know something close to it visiting to uh, visiting four places so you know you could end up with 40 grand 48 grand from that it, it might take you a, a, an hour or two to do it but there you go but that's the my start guide um, you don't need to get anything you literally just go from the planet, get your ship, come up to Everest Harbour, set your respawn point here, take your ship, get your contract, go and do your contracts, do the loot in, come and sell your loot. That's all you have to do for the first couple of weeks. And then you'll start figuring out other things then like, you know, you'll start looking at other jobs and, and, and stuff like that. And there's probably more tips and guides out there. I'll try and do as many as I can, but there'll be, be tips and, and things out there. But that's a quick, easy guide for people. So we hope you like that, and um, you know if you did like it, don't forget to hit the subscribe and bell notification for more. And don't forget to hit that thumbs up. It really appreciated. It helps us out. I enjoy playing the game. I enjoy doing this stuff and teaching people. I, I you know I want people to be enjoying the game and not not be frustrated over it. Um, so I'm hoping that helps out people. Um, I started some some guides and I went and bought backpacks and legs and armor and guns and and I, and I never used them for. God knows how long. Um, I just did this, and I was fine with that for a bit. Uh, I'm now doing other things where I'm earning 150k an hour by doing cargo runs in the, in in my nomad. But um, this is how I started, and it's a good way to get you know yourself going. So we hope you liked that, and we'll see you out in the verse.